Hello, this is Ben Falk for ClearSites.com. In today's screencast, I will show you how to use WordPress's custom taxonomy feature in your own themes. Taxonomies are used to classify and group things within WordPress. By default, WordPress uses two taxonomies, categories and tags, but you can also create your own. This functionality has been possible since WordPress 2.8. But WordPress 3 recently included the ability to create hierarchical custom taxonomies, making this feature even more useful. If you need an additional way to organize WordPress posts, pages, or custom post types, creating a custom taxonomy may be the solution. So what have I done so far? Well, first of all, I went to WordPress.org and I downloaded the most recent version of WordPress, which is 3.0.1, and I installed that and set it up on my computer and it looks like this and the only difference between this website and the stock WordPress install is that I've added one new post and that'll come in handy a little bit later I've opened up Coda which is my text editor and you'll notice I have the 2010 theme folder open which is the default theme that WordPress includes so you can find that um, I installed my WordPress files within a WordPress folder, and you can find that theme file within WordPress content, themes, 2010. So what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be imagining that we're building a blog site. Um, let's just assume it's for our own personal blog, and we want to be able to associate a mood with every blog post. So for example, um, I'm writing a blog post and I want to specify I'm, you know, I was writing it when I was happy or when I was sad or when I was depressed or whatever. And uh, we're also going to assume that we cannot use categories or tags for this particular functionality. Um, perhaps they're already being used in some other way and we don't have access to them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our functions.php file we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and we're actually going to create this taxonomy. So the way WordPress handles this is it wants us to create a hook which um, uses the add function or add action function like so and this hook will hook into WordPress and allow us to run additional code. So we want this hook to run when WordPress first initializes in it and we want it to run the build taxonomy function like so and finally we add zero and the next step we're going to actually create our function so function build taxonomy So that sets up the basics and whenever WordPress is initialized it's going to call this function. Now within this function we actually need to register our taxonomy and that's done by using the register taxonomy function. And I'll just leave it at that for the moment. I'm going to open up Firefox and I have the register taxonomy page open within the WordPress codex and uh, you may want to take a glance at this and it does a pretty good job of explaining what this function does and what arguments you need to pass in. So you can find this at codex.wordpress.org slash function underscore reference slash reference underscore taxonomy or excuse me uh, register underscore underscore taxonomy. So I'm going to go back to Coda and the first thing we want to do within this register taxonomy function is we want to name our taxonomy. In this case I'm going to call mine moods. We need to associate it with a particular type um, either post or page or a custom post type. In this case I'm going to associate it with post. And then finally, for the third argument, we need to pass in an array. And this is going to include some additional details about this taxonomy. 
Um, we want to make it so it's hierarchical. So we can order and group our taxonomies, or our you know, taxonomy items. So we're going to set that to true. We're going to include labels, which I will explain in a little bit more detail in a minute or two. Um, I'm going to set that equal to a labels variable. And I'll come back to this as I said. I'm going to use query var. We're going to set that to true. And finally, rewrite. That's going to be true as well. And uh, I believe these two both involve the URL um, and indicate that we're going to rewrite the URL properly. I'll show you that in a little bit. So to get back to our labels, um, I'm going to go back to Firefox and this register taxonomy reference. And uh, down here about the middle of the page somewhere, there's a pretty good example showing you how to create a custom taxonomy. I'm just going to copy this section, um, labels. And what this does, let me place this in here. is this sets how um, this taxonomy is named within the WordPress admin. So it sets it, um, for example, the name, just the name overall. It sets its name when it's used in a singular form, um, just anything within the WordPress admin. So the example that we used used genres, but I'm going to replace all of that, all these uh, instances of genres with moods or mood depending. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file and I believe everything looks good here. So let me go ahead and open up Firefox and looks like that's fine. Let me go ahead to admin and let's take a look at the posts. You'll notice we have a moods item in the left hand navigation now. So I'm going to go to that and I'm going to set up a couple just basic moods for us to get started with and I'll show you how the hierarchical function works. Um, so I'm going to order I'm going to organize our moods into two categories. I'm going to organize it into positive for, you know, positive moods and negative moods. And I'm just going to add um, one item within each category here. So I'm going to add um, angry. I'm going to set the parent to be negative. So you'll notice how it's now nested underneath the negative item. And I'm going to use happy as well. Set that underneath the positive. OK. And now I'm going to go to the post section. I'm going to edit my new post. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice there is a moods item here. And I'm going to set my mood to happy. So let me go ahead and update this and take a look at the front end. So you'll notice nothing has changed here. And if you go to the single post view, it doesn't look like anything has changed here either. Now that's normal. I'm going to go ahead and show you next how to display this mood within the front end. 